Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to House Call Auto Repair. Today we've got a 2004 uh, Honda MDX, or an Acura MDX, that uh, needs a new starter. It's got the big 3.5 liter V6 in it. Starter is right up on the front next to the transmission. Here's the starter. So we gotta go grab some uh, things to hold this up with and maybe even remove those things for him as well. Now using a pair of hose clamp pliers. A clamp right there. Gotta get this loosened up enough to click. Well, the very first thing we're going to do is get the negative battery cable taken off. Tuck that down and out of the way. Now I've got to apologize, the lighting isn't the greatest thing in the world for this, but what we're going to do is we're going to go down here with two short extensions and a 14 millimeter socket. We're going to go straight across the top of the starter, and we're going to get down in here and get on that 14 millimeter bolt right there, and remove this one. I'm not going to take it all the way out. I'm going to thread it all the way back out, or all the way out, and then I'm going to thread it back in just a hair so it's got a grip. That way, there we don't have the starter falling out the minute I get the bottom bolt out of it. Okay, we're all the way out. Two turns back in. Now let's get down to the bottom one underneath. Almost the same location you have to feel around underneath to find it. this I need to remove one of these extensions and be particularly careful not to break stuff this bolt all the way out and keep in mind there's also a bracket down here that that bolt goes through that holds your oxygen sensor wire up off of the uh, motor mount and frame. And then on the back side down here, if you can see this, uh, I got a cable right here in the way. Let's see if I can get you repositioned so that you can see the back side of the starter where we're going to be unplugging things. Now we're going to take that boot right there off. 12 millimeter nut underneath it. We're going to remove that. Not a lot of room to move because there's so many obstacles. that we 
fresh enough to take it off my finger. Most starters will come with a new one. I haven't actually looked at it yet, but I'm not going to lose that nut just in case. I'll go ahead and take the cable off. And we'll let that fall down a little bit out of the way. Okay, push it down out of the way. And now we've got the quarter inch spade plug right there. That we'll just grab a hold of and pull it straight out. Let's see if I can find you the plug here so I can show it to you. It's just a, well, looks like somebody's already replaced that. That doesn't look like a factory plug. But either way, now that we're all unhooked, let's pull the rest of the way out on that top bolt. And we'll pull the starter out. Same length as the other one. Okay. Now let's get this thing up and out of here. And I will compare it to the new one. This is the new one. Side by side. And all the same features. And we got uh, some adhesive padding here. Here and here. I would imagine that this is to help prevent contaminants from getting inside here and these were probably put on quite sloppily so I'm going to uh, that one I'm satisfied with where it is this one on the other hand I'm going to move this one in just a hair so it sits right on top of that vein squash that down in there it'll seal up against the block but uh, I put the uh, 12 millimeter knot on this one because it came with a 13 millimeter knot and well I like to try to keep certain things the same size for future procedures and whatnot uh, so we're gonna go ahead and drop this one down in now now I believe this was the way we got it out of here which way did we go yeah this way yeah I'm so blind here. Where she needs to be. Now we gotta get the top bolt in. Or the bottom bolt. Whichever one seems to be easier. I think the top one will be. Now 
let's get that bottom bolt started. And can't forget that it goes through that little bracket that holds the cable in place. So we'll get that into the cable holder and bring it up to the starter. My bolt hole. That's right there. started. Now start to bolt it in nice and tight. Go ahead and get those electrical connectors taken care of. Get this one right here. Get your spade. Grab my flashlight so I can make sure I'm putting it on straight. Now let's get the power cable up here. Oh, had it and popped it right back off again. Right. How are we doing for the alignment on that? Looks good. Let's get that 12 millimeter nut down on it. usually some notches that that cable's going to sit into so I'm going to try to make sure you got it in those I'm going to go ahead and snug that down good and tight but not so tight that you break the stud that the cable is attached to you break that on the inside of the starter and it's game over Trying to see around these uh, tripod legs are a little difficult. It's either blinding one eye or the other eye, and my depth perception goes to poo. So, trying to get a jack in the right spot underneath the car when you can only see under it with one eye. All right, that's nice and tight. Now, let's get the boot back up on it. Like that, pulled it right over. Let's go ahead and get the battery cable back on. It's not exactly a very stable ground, sturdy ground wire, but
There you have it, 2004 Honda MDX, Acura MDX. Started a replacement on the 3.5. Only took a couple of minutes, a couple of basic hand tools. If you guys found this one to be helpful, please comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And most important, remember, you've got no more excuses. Pick up those wrenches. up on the transmission dipstick. And the wiring is down here. Alright, what am I hung up on now? There we go. Get the dipstick right out of the way for the time being. stuck on it. I keep getting stuck on several things under here.